Hello everyone, I am going to be showing you a website today called Flat and um, it's called flat.io and what it really is is just a really neat uh, collaborative composition tool that you can use either just on your own or it's really great for the classrooms and there are ways to connect it up with Google Class as well. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to get in and how to get going. So if you go to flat.io again and you can create an account, you can either use your Google or your Facebook if you'd like, or just sign up, that's fine. Um, I'm going to sign in here. And uh, what I really like about this website is it's very, very user friendly. So I figured out a matter of these things in just moments. And I'm no genius, so you guys can totally do this. And the website's really easily set up. So um, I'm just going to go through a couple things before I show you the composition tools. Um, first, in the top left is a Discover um, tab. And what that has is where everybody can share their compositions. Now, it's, you don't have to. It's something you could set to either private or public. So if you're using it as an educational setting, you might want to keep it private. But students can create and collaborate and see other people's things. If you hover over it, it'll show you, um, play a little preview for it for you. I don't think it'll play it on this recording. Um, but you can click on any of these options and um, you can see what the score looks like and you can download it and um, export it in a lot of different ways and I'll show you how to do that in just a second here. Now the nice thing about this tool, Flat, is that it's all web-based. You don't have to download any program or anything. And you could use it, you know, jumping from computer to computer, just logging into your account. The only thing that is a negative with that is that sometimes it takes a little longer to upload, um, just depending on the computer speed and the site support. So, but that happens when your home computer is slow too. So I think it's fine. Um, so here's what it'll do. It'll open up whatever this person created and you can look at it um, and they can set if you can change it or not. Um, this person does not want you to mess with their items, so that's fine. But if I wanted to just print it out or save it or share it with a friend, I could do that. Um, there's tools over here. If I wanted to export it, it'll open up a bunch of different options of how I could save it. That's what I really like is um, PDF, MIDI, MP3, is WAV, MX, MXL, or XML. So whatever you'd need, like if in a classroom you wanted to post the PDF and then just put the MIDI file right there or the MP3 and whatever you need to use, um, it's really accessible and really easy just to grab those and share them. <clears throat> so that's kind of that side of the, the Discover tab. You can look through that, spend hours doing that if you'd like <laughs> on your own free time. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the kind of the help tool that will walk people through this. Most people, students, I'm guessing, will just kind of figure it out until they get stuck. Then they might need this. This support, there's a knowledge base, and as you can see, there's a ton of different things you might need to know. Like, oh, my teacher says I need to slur these notes. How do I do that? Up pops a window. You could just see how to do it, and there you go. Click, drag, pull. A lot of it's pretty intuitive, but again, if not, has tons of windows and options that will help you learn. And I like the pictures. I'm a visual learner. <laughs> so if I go back home, it'll have my account. You can change your your name, your username, um, and what people see. And I've created a few things here, but let me show you how to create your own new thing new music score. So let's say I'm doing a song here. Type in the title. You can pick all your instruments. You could do just one instrument, like piano, or you can pick a bunch of different things. Alto flute, you know, never need enough of those. Cat meows. Okay, there's real instruments too, like a choir synthesizer. <laughs> Anyways, select whatever you want. That's fine. And um, you can edit here if you have second thoughts. That's fine. I think you can change it later too. Select your key signature. There you go, key of A flat, why not? Time signature, you can change that to a ton of different things. Um, 3 3, whatever. 
start to compose. Now a lot of this is really intuitive, um, but if not, your support option is right there. So you just kind of basically click and then plunk them in. You could do um, notes on top of each other really easily, which I like. Um, and then if you don't like it, you click and drag it wherever you want. You could change the note value. Um, and if it doesn't fit, it won't let you do it. And your music teacher will explain why. Um, if you want to transpose anything, you can do that here. I'll let you figure that out. You could do articulations of all sorts. Dynamics, that's important. You can change the clefs. Um, you can just kind of drag those in here. Key signatures, all those things, add repeats, first and second endings. You can do pretty much everything you'd ever need. And um, the designer of this website likes feedback. And I've already noticed some changes just in the last couple months I've been looking at it, which have been good. So keep those coming. Um, if you want to write lyrics, I think that's a new feature you can type in right here. Um, the lyrics, the chords, you can just drop them in. Um, I think it actually does it. Oh, like if I, no. It used to be different. Well, there you go. Things change. They probably know what they're doing, though. That's okay. Um, if you decide you want to change your instrument set here, you can do that. Like, um, I don't want the cat meow. That's weird. So you delete it. Yes. Okay. That's all right. Goodbye, cats. And then you could just do all these fun things. Anyways, I'll let you figure that out. Again, how you export it is right here. And then the feature I like, especially in the classroom setting, are the comments. So I could say, um, add a cat track to the score. See? Might need that. There it is. So the composer here can see feedback from the teacher or anybody else they're collaborating with and then close it and edit it. You could change the view option, all sorts of things. Again, very user friendly. So if I want to go back to my compositions, I want to show you one that uh, I thought would be useful for the classroom. Uh, if they're going over the scales and this is just struggling with it and they need a little more focus on that, you can Go ahead and put like a C scale and then put into the directions. Copy the sample from the first line in the space provided. So what the student will have to do is just share that plunk, 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 and then um, send it, save it, and then send it to you in either your class through email or save it as a PDF. Or again, there are capabilities for Google Class as well, just to drop it exactly right into the class, which is fantastic if you're into that sort of thing. Um, and the last thing I'm going to have you guys help me out with, if you don't mind, <laughs> is I've created a collaborative song here called Collaborative Blues and C. And what I've done is I've created a bunch of tracks, and I'll just read the directions really quickly. Uh, choose an instrument and fill in your part. Simple, uh, simple or complicated, it will be a creative collaboration of chaos, probably. Uh, make sure you follow the chords, if you know what that means. For the C major blues, and feel free to comment and help each other out with ideas or adjustments. Try to let the track owner change their line only. Please comment with, below with your name. So the idea being, you say, hey, my name is Mrs. Lopez. I want to do the Hammond organ. I called dibs on that. So whatever, you add it, put it in. Um, I put a bunch of instruments in here. If we need more, I can add more or take them away. Um, drum set is a little tricky trying to figure out how to put those notes in, but um, not any harder than most programs actually. Um, and then you just go for it. So I'm excited about this and to see what everyone comes up with and I want to hear what everyone thinks. Is this fun? Is this not fun? Will students use it? Um, how could you use it in your classroom today or in the future? No hold back of your imagination. So. Let me know what you think. Um, participate in this if you can. Um, and if you create anything on your own, please send it to me and we can start to share some ideas. So again, this is flat.io is a website. F-L-A-T dot I-O. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks.